Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Comics Market Watch. I am happy to have y'all back for another haul video. Uh, if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And for all you people that look at my channel on a regular and ain't subscribed, you need to subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I put up a video. And make sure you smash that like button. It helps me out by... Uh, having the YouTube show the, uh, and the suggestions of other videos. So hit that like button. I need the likes, you guys. If I didn't need them, I wouldn't ask for them. And thank you to my No Skip Ad crew for not skipping the ad for at least 30 seconds. If you want to uh, still donate without having to look at the ads, you can always go to my PayPal and my Cash App. And there, the link is in the description of this video. And uh, also check out my other channel, uh, Money Market Watch. is all about the stock market. Check that out. The link is in the bottom of this video also. So let's get started, you guys. I'm happy to have y'all back. My comic book family, my brothers and sisters. Man, what a week, what a week. I have to say, um, just happy to be alive. <laughs> happy to be able to go to hunt. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone's staying safe. All right, so let's get started. So the first place I went to was five and below. I got a one, uh, they had a whole bunch of comic book packs, but this is the only one I saw that I was interested in because they had the Power Man and Iron Fist number 75 in the back, uh, is the double size issue. And they only had one spine tick. So I was like, uh, and I, I don't know anything about the Star Wars Shadowed Empire. I just know it's this is Marvel. I know that. It's the new Marvel. So uh, it was $4.25 for four comics. So let me show you what's inside. All right. So, of course, it's Star Wars Shattered Empire number two. I don't know if that's a key or anything, but I, I don't think it is. Uh, then they had Damage Control number one. This is volume three. Don't really like that cover too much. It's not, eh, it's nothing to, you know, sing about. Uh, then, of course, the Power Man and Iron Fist, number 75, real thick issue. Uh, double size spectacular issue when they return to Kung Lao. Yes. And last but not least, Victorian, number 11. Don't know anything about this book. I'm clueless. Uh, and that was it. Nothing spectacular to find. In the pack, I, and just want to say to, uh, I had a viewer that actually looked at one of my videos when I had opened up the uh, packs at um, the Walmart packs and said that uh, he thought that I was faking <laughs> my reaction and that I had already opened the uh, packs and at the store and that's and then took the ones that had the good stuff in it by opening them at the store. And I had to laugh because I'm just like, obviously, he hasn't looked at enough of my videos to realize that that if that was true, then I wouldn't have picked up a lot of stuff that's worthless <laughs> when, when I've opened up these uh, these uh, packs uh, from DC, Marvel and from um, five and below. So, uh, yeah, that's just complete bull. <laughs> but uh, just to prove my point, I wanted to show that. The ones that I bought today, as you can see, they're still sealed. Just want to show you. See? Ain't nothing open. And that's usually how I always get them. They're always closed. So, I never bought ones that are open. So, uh, I don't know what the hell he was talking about. And here goes the other one, the Black Widow one. As you can see, it's still closed, sealed. Sealed the deal. As you can see, I have not opened it, so I don't know what the hell, you know, I'm just like, really, dude? Like, to make a remark like that, you obviously haven't been looking at my videos, so you need to be looking at the rest of my videos before you make a remark like that, because it really upset me. I hate when people say stuff without at least viewing my channel for a while. Like, look at my channel, then say something, you know what I'm saying? Don't just look at one video and then make it a... Uh, you know, just say something like that's just go back and look at the rest of my videos. Like I tell people all the time, go look at my old videos. Like you might have missed out on some that I showed in my old videos 
that's hot now. You know what I'm saying? That I was talking about a year or two years ago, and now it's finally hot. And if you would have listened to me a year or two years ago when I was talking about it, when nobody was talking about it, you would have picked it up for cheap. But for some reason, everybody just wants what's hot now. And I, I, I don't understand because, you know, the whole object of if you're in this for the investment reason, you definitely want to buy low and sell high. You don't want to buy high and sell high. That's just crazy. You don't want to get it when it's already hot. You want to get it when it's cold and nobody's talking about it. That's when you go get stuff. Um, So that way you're getting at the cheapest price. So it's kind of crazy to me that uh, for some reason, people just won't go back and look at my old videos. Like go back and watch my old videos. If you watch some of my old videos from a year or two ago, you'll see that, man, what I was talking about then, now it's 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 done steamed up. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and what I'm showing you now is cold and it's about to heat up in a year or two. So that's why it's best to, Go back and see so you can see for yourself that, you know, my track record on this stuff is good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tr I'm trying to tell you, like, if I'm talking about a, a book that nobody's talking about, I suggest you go get it because nine times out of ten it's going to get hot and then it's going to be going up and pff, you, ain't, you know, you're going to pay more if you want it then. So it's best to get it when I suggest you go get it. I'm not telling you what to get. Because at the end of the day, collect what you want. But if you're in this for the investments, you're in it for a return, then if I'm telling you a, a book that's that's cold and it ain't going for much, and I'm, I'm telling you why I think it's going to go for much, I suggest, you know, pony up that dollar, that $5, that $10, whatever it is going for at the time, because you're going to get a good return on your investment nine times out of ten. Like, so... Yeah, it's it's just, you know, my, my, my channel is called Key Comics Market Watch. It's a market watch, you know. So I just want people to know that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you about these books that no one is talking about. Like literally no one is talking about a majority of the books that I show. No one's talking about like literally they're not. They're really not. They're like not even suggesting them. So. You know, I'm probably like one of the few that suggest stuff that no one is talking about. Like, so I'm going to give you a prime example. I'm, I'm going to bring out my spec play right now. I'm going to talk about the spec play first. Like I said, I'll talk about spec play. Um, It could be at the beginning of the video, the middle, the end. So just look at all my videos and you won't miss out on the spec play. So my spec play is Freedom Fighters number one. Now, this is not uh, this is not the first appearance but this is their first um, ongoing series, Volume 1. So uh, definitely a Bronze Age issue. Mine's a 9.2 white pages. I wish I had a higher grade of this, but uh, I'm telling you, this book right here, I definitely, no one's talking about Freedom Fighters, and I'm, I'm telling you, get this book now. It's, it's still cheap. Uh, there's no telling with DC who they're going to think of next or what team or what whatever. So you just don't know. But I could tell you Freedom Fighters is an awesome group. I love. I remember reading this as, you know, as a youngin uh, when this came out uh, in 76. Uh, I was already like, uh, how old was I? I didn't start reading until I was in 1978 or 79 is when I started reading. But I remember I bought the Freedom Fighters at a convention. I bought the issues at a convention and, you know, I read them and I loved them. And I wish I still had them in my old collection, but uh, that collection is gone. But I'm telling you, don't sleep on Freedom Fighters. I definitely suggest you get this book if you can, uh, the high, whatever high grade you could get it at. So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely get it. Um so, like I said, man, no one's talking about Freedom Fighters. As you can see, I always bring up the spec play nobody's talking about. And there's a reason why I talk about it, because those are the books you want to go after. When no one's talking about them, that's when they're cheap. So, get them while they're cheap. Oh, my God. I, I'm going to tell you this. If you go back to... I'm trying to remember what video it was, but in, in, it was a, the video... I had picked up 
the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one with the first appearance of Rocksteady and Bebop. And I remember I talked about that book then, how um, that's a book that everybody need to be getting because of the fact that it has two key first appearances in it, and it's a very undervalued book. I talked about that back then, and now look, look, look how much that book is going for. So just prime example, I'm just giving you an example. Like I talked about the first appearance of Shuri. I remember when I picked a nine point, I had picked up a 9.6 greatest CGC copy from a comic link two years ago. I had picked it up and I, my nine point, I bought the 9.6 for like $32 when no one was thinking about Shuri, you know what I'm saying? And I bought it then. And when I showed it, in my video, I told people they need to get that book. Like, that is a sister, and you just never know what they're going to do with her. And she had already became a Black Panther. So, you know, I was telling people, but I guess everyone want to wait until it gets burning hot and then get it. You know what I'm saying? So, it just, I'm telling you, if I'm telling you about a book, and it's not nobody's talking about it, you need to go get it, like, for real, <laughs> because you're going to eventually make your money back and then some, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so uh, let's get on with it. So I picked up this um, complete set. It was 20 bucks, you guys. It has uh, from the max one through nine. I took it out the bag so you guys could see each issue, but it was 20 bucks. This is the one I bought the LCS. So here go issue one, issue two. I really like these covers. I don't know if you can see the red, um, the beams, like, you know, from the guns and stuff all pointed at them. Like, like there's a thousand beams, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's why you got his hands up like that. <laughs> then you got uh, issue number three. You could consider this a bondage cover. You could, but I don't know. You could, yeah. All right, then you got issue number four. Look how he's uh, his hand is right there. <laughs> like, oh, shit, who's behind me? Uh, realizing, oh, man, he's about to get murked for real. So, oh, well, then you got issue number five. All right. All these covers are so dark. It's crazy. Uh, issue number six. And, man. To find them without spine ticks is so hard. Now, I'm going to tell you, all of these books have spine ticks, like all of them. Like, some of them got a little bit less than others, but all of them got spine ticks. Issue number one looks great in the front, but has some spine ticks in the back. Now, this one, issue number seven, has the most spine ticks. So, uh, yeah, this this is the one that's really, really... but um. And then issue number eight. But issue number eight is pretty great. Like, I would say out of all of them, issue eight is probably the one that has the least uh, ticks. And issue number nine. Issue number nine, I think, had only one small, small one. But, uh, yeah, all of them, I mean, to find these in, without ticks is really difficult. Uh, but for $20 for nine books... Uh, that's basically what two dollars and twenty five cents for each book. Now, not twenty five cents, about two dollars and uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen cents, something like that. Yeah, for each book. So I didn't mind paying that much. And plus, I wanted, you know, I wanted it, you guys. So, all right. So let's open up these bad boys. So I'm gonna pause the video and open them up so I don't waste time. All right, so the great thing about these multi-packs is that it's not really about what's in the front so much as what's inside the middle, the goodness. You know what I'm saying? To find a gem in the middle that's worth more than every, the whole pack is what excites me when it comes to these. And also, I was looking for the X-Men one that uh, has the gay fold cover. Um, that one is actually hot right now. Now, I can tell you, I went to four Walmarts, couldn't find it. So, that one is pretty much, I think, going to hold its value because it's just hard to find. I don't know how many they actually made of it. So, let's see what's in the middle, you guys. All right. So, we got Champions Outlaw number one. 
Iron Man 2020, issue number two. Okay, I don't have that. But that's not a book that I'm excited about. You know what I'm saying, you guys? So, uh, all right, so let's see what's next. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Return to Wolverine, variant edition. Okay. All right, I don't even know which variant this is. They made like a million variants of this with different costumes. So I don't know if this one's like a, a rare one. I don't know. I When it came out, it just kind of blew me how Marvel did that where they had the same cover with him just having all the different uniforms that he's ever worn. And to me, it was just a, a money grab, you know what I'm saying? So I just wasn't with it. It didn't excite me. So, uh, eh, but I, I hope this one's worth some. I don't know. Eh. So, yeah, I, I'm not too excited about that pack right there. And to the person that said I opened them in the store, yeah, okay, shut up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how I feel about that. All right, let's see what's in the middle of this one. All right, so I had to open it from the bottom because I was having a hard time opening it from the top. All right, so let's see what goodness we got. What goodness do we have? All right, so I like this cover right here. It's the Arthur Adams cover, Fantastic Four 24. Definitely, definitely like this. So I had to pick that up. Just I really am digging this cover. The Amazing Mary Jane number three. Okay. I don't have that. So, so far, all the books I don't have. But, eh, I really didn't want this book, to be honest with you. Come on, come on. Let's see what's in the back. All right. Ghost Rider 2099 Variant Edition. Okay. I like that Ron Lim cover. All right. Bet, bet. All right. So, so far, I don't see anything that's super valuable yet so eh, strike out strike out but i like that ghost rider cover i'm not gonna lie all right all right so let's get let's see what's in this black widow i really like this cover man i don't know who did the cover but i really like it all right so what's underneath here uh spider-man and venom double chubble i just want to show you the Black Widow cover first, just how nice that is. I don't know who did the cover. I want to see real quick. Let me see. Who did that cover? Is it Jen Bartel? Damn, where the hell is it? Is it in the back? Let's see. Ah, there we go. Cover artist Adam Hughes. Nah. Hold up. That's the Adam Hughes cover? Hold up. Variant cover. Is this a variant? Let me see. No, this is just a regular. So this is an Adam Hughes cover. Okay. I never would have saw. I, I didn't. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was an Adam Hughes cover, you guys. It, it, it kind of shocked me. Okay. So we got Spider-Man and Venom Double Trouble number three. Eh, okay. Let's see. Come on. Come on. What is it? What is it? What is this? Incoming number one variant edition. All right. So, oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. So, I am happy about this because incoming is the one where you got the hand. All right. So, this issue does have some important things going on in it and it's a thick issue it's a 9.99 cover price man so yeah you see the 9.99 cover price right there you guys i don't know if you guys can see it ah. right there there it goes <laughs> it's a real thick book by the way oh man okay i didn't even know they made a variant for this book okay all right so yeah Okay, I wonder what the ratio is on this variant, cause uh, just that nine ninety nine cover price was a uh, a sting in the pocket. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if they ordered a lot of these. I doubt it, but yeah, there is an importance to this issue. I just 
I'm trying to remember what it was. I talked about it when I had picked up um I had picked up a uh the 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 I had picked up the regular cover uh when I had gotten them 104 comics for $80 uh at the LCS. So that was one of the books that was in that that uh that that eighty dollar uh, deal. So, and I had went through the book, and um, yeah, I, I read the book, and I realized there was some important stuff in there. So I was suggesting everyone get it. But yeah, this variant might be the winner right here. So, yeah, this might be some that uh, in the future might be worth a lot. So, yeah, okay. So I'm happy. I can't complain, you guys. I can't complain too much, too much, too much. All right, so shout out to my man, Fred Hall, Direct Edition. I just want to let you know that I know I said I was going to show that Batman book that we was, you know, that you talked about in your video that I told you about the haul, but that I had gotten, but I still haven't finished bagging and boarding everything. So it'll definitely be in my next video, I promise. So Fred Hall, Direct, if you're looking at my video right now, Make sure you check out my next video. It's going to be in the next video. In fact, I'll make sure that I'll let you know. Uh, I'll probably comment in your comment when I put it up. So thank you, everyone, for uh, checking checking out the stuff that I got. It wasn't no big haul. but uh, And I was going to pick up more of the Marvel um, packs. But, uh, man, money. I've been spending so much money lately on books. It's been crazy. So... Got kind of slow down. I don't have no buy it nows today, but all the stuff that I've shown so far in all my videos for the buy it nows are still available, you guys. The only thing that's not available is that Thunderbolt set. That Thunderbolt set was sold, uh, but I still have the Ghost Rider uh, toy. I still have the Tank Girl number one. I still have the uh, first Spider Woman 9.2 CGC graded. I still have all that stuff, so if look at my old videos, you'll see what I'm talking about that I, I put up for a buy now, so all that stuff is still available for those prices, so if you guys want to pick up some great books that I definitely feel that you should pick up because eh, they're going to get hot, even hotter, so uh, yeah, and the Tank Girl uh, is a 9.0 to a 9.2, I'm kind of giving it a lower grade because uh it does have little spine ticks, like little small ones, but overall it has the cards and everything. So uh, I definitely would suggest you uh, pick that up because that's a hard to find book, by the way. <laughs> it took me forever to get that book. So um, the reason why I'm selling it is because I have another one. I managed to pick up another one recently, uh, and that one's a 9.8 candidate. That one's definitely going to get uh, CGC. So I'm not selling that one. So that's the only reason why I'm selling my other copy. So, uh, but yeah, everyone, thank you. Thank you for joining me for another great, 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 great uh, haul. And don't forget Freedom Fighters, number one, spec play. Definitely pick it up ASAP. You won't regret it. It's just a great cover overall, by the way. I love that cover. Uh, so yeah. All right, you guys. Peace.